Relationship clinic is on, my friend. This is where we talk about relationships and, uh, you know, trying to give good information. There's a lot that's said about relationship. It's mostly negative. Those are the things that trend. So and so did this, so and so and did that. But we know relationships, marriage, done God's way, thrive and there's fruit, godly fruit in it. That's why we do this show. Today we want to talk about uh, how do you get to the place of trusting after betrayal? In fact, my question for the day for you today is, would you forgive your spouse after they have betrayed you? Would you forgive your spouse after they have betrayed you? Your betrayal where did you see any betrayal, Ghani? Yeah, some people, if you take their money and run, they will never forgive you. Some people, if you, <laughs> if you have an affair, they will never forgive you. So you choose your betrayal. If your spouse betrayed you, would you forgive them? Would you be willing to work and build that trust? Again, this, even, this morning, I've got two wonderful guests in studio with us, a wonderful couple who will share their story and what they have learned along the way. Pastor Gilbert, or Pastor Gili, as we call him, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fun. It's good to have you. Fantabulous. Karibu sana. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And your wife, Lucy, is also here. How are you doing? Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Karibu sana. <laughs> good to have you. <laughs> you guys have a story to tell. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's go back to the beginning. How did you guys meet? Where did you guys meet? Uh, we, we met at KAG Buruburu Church. Mm. Kanisani. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the church that we grew up in, okay. both of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, our, it's our home church, as mm -hmm. we call it. Mm -hmm. Until now, we have a church yet. Yeah, church yet, <laughs> yes. We to KAG as yes. church yet. Mm. Yet we are in other churches now. Yeah. And, and, and that's where we met. Okay. And uh, we, I was serving in the children's ministry. Mm -hmm. And her... She joined the children's ministry, mm. and now we started serving together. Mm. And then, uh, after a while, we come notice. Now, can you notice? Yeah, can notice <laughs> Amen. Okay, okay. And eventually, um, uh, to get married, to uh -huh. court, then to get married. Okay. Yes. How long did you did you court before you got married? By the way, my relationship here and your dates. Three years. About three years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three yes. years. Okay. Also. And during this time, you, 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 you had settled in your heart, this is the man. Yeah, I yes. think apparently for him, what mm -hmm. he's not saying is he saw me once. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, yeah. He saw me when he was in Amatatu. Okay. Six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I, I was standing up shopi, up shopi. <laughs> Then that's when he not. I was not in that church yet. Uh -huh. and all that. So yeah. And then he just said, "What did you say there?" That is my wife. Yes. Oh, <laughs> boss, mutwa imani. We are claiming. Naata udemuongelesha. I just saw. Okay. And then now when I went to church, when now I came to church and then to serve in the children's ministry, I think he's. That's when he says, okay. Mm, God has answered my prayers. Yes. Uh, yes. Now God this is divine. <laughs> this is divine. I'm telling you. Okay. So you got married. Which year did you get married? 2013. 2013. No, 2012. 2012. Yeah. 2012. Yeah. 2012. Yeah. Sorry. You're not good with dates. Yes. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> so 2012, you get married. But then uh, you guys experience challenges in your marriage. Yes. And that's where we want to focus on because I believe you guys have a story to tell that can teach us something uh -huh. because we learn from one another. Yeah. yeah. So how were your earlier years of marriage and what are some of the challenges you went through? <laughs> the earlier years were, the first years for us, getting married was hard. Just oh. the transition of getting married was very difficult. Why? It, uh, now what will I say? Um, from my side, it mm -hmm. was very hard to accept him. So uh -huh. it became a real struggle. To accept him as a husband? Yes, and to be my husband, that is. Okay. Yes, so mm -hmm. it was quite a struggle. And um, we, we thank God for our pastor, senior pastor then, who mm -hmm. was Pastor Tembu, who really helped us a lot mm -hmm. then. So when we got married, we got married. We didn't go for premarital counseling oh. because it was very difficult. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, it it, yeah, it was extremely hard, and then we didn't we didn't get um, counsel the right counsel. Right Let counsel. me just say that. Okay. Um, so when we entered marriage, it was um, sisi tulikuwa posisi wa wili. 
So kila mtu na Kenya anajua mm-hmm. so that is what we were doing. Okay. It's like so, our pastor took us through uh, a make shift primarito uh, class. Crash yeah. course, mlichapo crash course. My. Wewe ni pastor wewe I think unajua hizi vitu. We are taking through a crash make shift one. You know that that statement is very important because I think sometimes we forget that because somebody has got title pastor uh, we forget that they are human being and they go through the same challenges we go through yes. Yes. you know so people may assume are when you you understand the word you know how marriage should work so yes. there's no need for you to go for primito na kuna wachungaji hapa wanaangalia runinga na wanasikiza radio and you guys didn't go for primito and you're having issues in your marriage yeah. and sometimes for pastors when you're going through issues in your marriage it's mm. hard because you have no one to talk to or you are ashamed of talking to someone Aha, because when exactly. mchungaji yes. yes when you unatuhubiria guys vitu yes. kumbe pia wewe umechapa tu kama sisi <laughs> so, <laughs> so 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 that's what you went through yes 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 mm-hmm. so uh, tuka, we were taken through a make shift at how we taken through ma, i was taken through without oh, her without her eh uh, mm-hmm. aki make shift the uh, primary to counseling is mm-hmm. Because the worker name, ah, you, you know these things. Mm-hmm. We don't really need to take you through that class per se. Wow. Yeah. My fellow pastors told me that. Uh-huh. Hmm? So you get married. The mm-hmm. Kamboe and I get married. And even the marriage itself was, was a bit difficult because now mm-hmm. uh, b- 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 her dad mm-hmm. didn't want uh, her to marry a pastor. Oh. So now let her pastor quit. For, for, is there any particular reason? Amaliona mapasi wamechapa ni wagesi. It's later to like That's another show. Yes. It's later to like come this kind of spiritual thing and all that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just spiritual thing. Pastor mm. uh. Okay. So the 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 the, the early months for marriage from your perspective, how would you define mm-hmm. them? The early months were I think they were fantastic. We, I enjoyed the company. We, mm-hmm. we were happy with each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were finally mm-hmm. we were married. Yes. Like fuse. <laughs> After all that, to mm-hmm. get married, I mean, let's live together to move on with our own lives. Mm-hmm. And it was nice, and uh, we really enjoyed, and 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 we were looking forward to a fantastic future. Not knowing that kuna serious hurdles uh-huh. waiting for us. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We were oblivious of them. Amu kuambiwa in steeple chase. No, no, no. Kuruka viunzi na kuingia kwa maji. Oh no, we were not told. Si tulijua ah. Mhm. We eat to make. We are inside now let's run. Yes. So at what point do these challenges come and what kind of challenges are we talking about here? So um again when I, what I, what I said being married with no premarital counseling and then I was getting married to a pastor. Mhm. So for me I thought as a pastor then mm. um at his salvation now is going to carry us through Aha. so you see at now end of taomba is going to be okay nothing like that so everyone had their own my personality is very strong uh. him is not as strong as i am mm-hmm. so he lost he is me. choleric um flag yes mm-hmm. so mm. those two personalities really really collided mm-hmm. because um as we never shouted at each other mm-hmm. but we will just argue then he yeah. lost his job and then now being a pastor's wife for him mm-hmm. he used to stay in church 24 hours 365 days in the year mm-hmm. from morning yes. till evening washugulikia the bride of christ and how he is bride yeah. 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 okay sundays sundays was understandable because i was also serving on mm-hmm. saturday at church monday at church no, when was your off day thursday, thursday. monday tuesday wednesday, wednesday. Th- every single day He's from morning till evening so there it became i just felt neglected mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. so that's when um we we it just started like that we, he he was not at home and me i just started um feeling neglected mm. it's, it's, what what is it doing why is it taking my marriage away mm-hmm. or taking the time that is needed you know everyone has their own Um, I don't know I deal marriage in their yeah, head. Yeah. So I never went through that being told how you're supposed to be as a pastor's wife mm-hmm. and how what happens in the pastors on mm-hmm. pastor ni watu. Yes. Kanisa uh, kwanza. Mm-hmm. So that is when our challenges started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we started to drift. Can I say it? Is it was it drifting? Or what? Uh, 
Will I call it drifting? What will I call it? I, 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 I fail to transition from... Sasa, niko married. Mm -hmm. Mimi si single man. Mm -hmm. Na nijitolea kwa ministry hivo. Mm -hmm. So I failed to understand that transition. Mm -hmm. That now a married man, inatakikana nyumbani. Yeah. Na I need also to be very much available at home. Mm -hmm. But now mili kwa nikiona, ha, kaende, kaende. Okay, yeah. Ulito kaitika. Hai, mimi nitasavu tu. Mm. Wewe ndo understand. Si tunapenda gode. Mm. Pia minapenda gode. Mm. Now support me. Nikipenda huyu gode. Mm -hmm. So I failed to, to transition and be a husband. Okay. Nikue nyumbani. Okay. Nikai na my wife. Mm. So spending time with her was, was really minimal. It was not... Um, and then it, it turned out, it became sour. It, it was not enjoyable anymore. Anymore. Eh, you took mm. to spend time. Asa na za coping point. Wewe unafanyanga. Wewe. Asa mm. inakuwa more of. Ni makosa. Mm. Makosa zako. Nini. Ah, Kama uko heg. Eh. <laughs> so, 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 so what doors did that open? Now you've drifted apart. <coughs> Communication is not even happening the way it's supposed to be happening. It's more of uh, pointing out mistakes here and there. So for you. A wife, you're at home. Man of God, you go to an audumia. What did that lead to? So every time I used to tell him that, uh, oh. and then that's when you get, now that's when you understand that words are very words are powerful. powerful. Ah. Never say anything negative mm. because at time it will come to pass. So mm. I used to say, especially like, if you're saying it over yes, and over yes, and over yes, again. Yes. So that opened a door for me to be vul vulnerable mm -hmm. to someone else. So mm. in that way, now I ended up having an affair. Okay. Now in in, in my marriage. Yeah. Because now I felt that um, at least this other person, the, let me say like this, because mm -hmm. is giving you the the attention, the love that she's missing yes. at home. Yes. So that is the door that it opened. Okay. So because of this, I'm not saying it is right. Mm. It's just that, again, it, 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 it opened that door. Mm. One thing always leads to another. To another, yeah. yes. Mm. So, and it became bad because now I just, being a child of God and then having an affair, it became bad. Now I blotted everything. Mm -hmm. Then I just started to disrespect him in every way. I just, and then I just shut my mind. Na kanisa na everything. Because now I thought... So when this is happening, why are you still going to church? Yes, yes. yes. So she was ministering in the choir. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, no. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I think no. that's... No, hey. no, no. Let me say this. The fear of the Lord is very important. <laughs> <laughs> that point is when you sing this, the, the famous song people are singing nowadays. Nina Sirina Yesu. Wow. Yeah. So what's going on in your heart? Because you know there's something happening here that I don't want people to know, but yet I still have to be the me that they know and serve and judge. What's going on in your heart? It, it was at some point I just blocked everything. Okay. And I felt nothing. Mm -hmm. I really felt nothing because I was just like, this marriage is. Why did I get married, first of all? Mm. First of all, it was so hectic. We fought for this marriage. Then entering this marriage, it was so difficult. It's not what you thought it would yes. be. Yeah. And then for me being married again to a pastor, first of all, he lost his job. Mm -hmm. And then to get the job where we were at, it was very difficult. As in, we were struggling right, left, and center. Uh, wow. Everywhere. Okay. So um, it was just hard. So I was like looking for an escape mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. that I could find maybe refuge or solace. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my heart was blocked. Your heart was yeah. blocked. So at, at this point, uh, do you have any idea that something is uh, going at on? At first, I Or did. you are busy in the third heaven? <laughs> I, I was. Uh, I was still busy in the third heaven. Uh -huh. Serving God seriously. Mm. But at the same time, hurting. Mm -hmm. uh, because I could, I, could, I could see the disrespect mm -hmm. that na kupigiwa makelele alikuwa akinipigia makelele mbele ya watu hii baby mm. he shout at me or tell me something tell me off eh uh, hata at times kwa supermarket tell me off eh sasa mimi sasa mimi i'm really struggling mm. and i want to win back my wife but mm. I, I don't know how mm -hmm. 
uh, I, I didn't know what to do exactly. Mm. So mi bado niko kwa hii kwa hii uchungu. Kwa hii uchungu inside my heart. He not knew knowing, because he not knowing. then he he was going through my phone. Oh. Then I, I saw her mm. anaka kwa phone sana. Yeah. Na hiyo phone imekuwa ma password zingine uh-huh. very funny encrypted yeah. encrypted yeah. but now my son uh, our son actually uh-huh. alikuwa amemuonesha ame password yeah. so there is a day my son akaweka hizo password yeah. so me i saw the passwords how they zil, 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 yeah. and at that point uko very alert nikashika tu hizo passwords yeah. hizo all that complication so while she's asleep at night akitoka escapade zake mm. nilikuwa niki go through the phone that is said kwa Derek the investigator <laughs> eh oh guy <laughs> so, so, you guy. regretted why you went there hey. so, now the hardest part is that eh uh, nilikana hiyo kitu 2 to 3 years silent so so this the, the person she was involved in was it somebody you knew no oh. okay. i don't know hey at least yes <laughs> <laughs> you stayed with that thing for 2 years to to weekend into the third year now without confronting her no no i could not i, I my friend yes. how how do you do that well uh, how do you I, even sleep how do you even smile at her look at her how i i mini pasta si kutaka you see the pastors that i was serving with mm-hmm. Hakuna ule marriage yake iko oh their marriages were perfect picture perfect nobody talked about marriages wa kuna shida Oh. Nobody said mimi tuweko sana na my wife yes. ama mama nani alinibolewa nobody talked about that so you thought mimi nikajua yangu ndio terrible yeah. i'll keep quiet even me i try maintain eh? yes since i'm a pastor stay kuleta ibu pia kwa kanisa so did you have any idea that jamaa amepata leakage yeah i i knew uh-huh. but i'm telling you i didn't ushiko na i didn't care oh. that's the just plint my then i think i was just like you you're doing your thing me and doing my mine. thing because at upatani we were not seeing eye to eye mm-hmm. in that house and then uh, for him we had a friend who now bec- we had a very close friend mm-hmm. who, who became who was my friend mm-hmm. became, became our, our friend, friend. Mm-hmm. now became his friend uh, mm. so he she, she no you or me Oh yes. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he now he leaned towards her. Oh. Una sasa like you found a shoulder to cry yes. on. Yes. Yes, but but si mwambi mambo yetu pa. Oh mwambi mambo yenu. Si, si kusema about what I discovered. Yeah. So that one I kept it because it was too embarrassing and the friend also used to kind of help us. Uh-huh. Akiona kwanza yake ndio offline sana alikuwa akiwaambia eh bana. Ndaribu ya marriage rudi kana gili. So you, so uh, I, I used to tell the f- that uh, that our friend frustration is it. Okay. But now about this one. This uh, one you didn't say. This one I This one is too deep. This one I kept it. So so I was hurting painfully alone. alone. Ah, interesting question I want to ask you. That they're keeping this to yourself and not willing to tell anybody so uh, because i can look at it from two perspectives yes. is it that you're too you, it's too embarrassing because you are a pastor yes or also could it be that i want to cover my wife because i don't want people to start seeing her in that kind of light those two both of them <laughs> wow so na na imba kwaya so waya ya children's church na tuna serve bado kwa children's ministry together so i so at what point do you decide you know what we need to deal with this thing one sunday eh one sunday 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 yes so for me one time so we had gone i was now meeting with this other person now i don't know that i don't know who was praying for me or it was his prayers because he said he was still praying for me because me I was I had locked I had locked God oh, yeah I was making painful prayers yeah, mm. every father may you kill that man ayya <laughs> may you gari yangu I mean I was like bring back my wife imagine you were like making such prayer na pain na mauchu yes uh-huh. anyway so f- 
um, later on, that's when I knew how, how pained he was. Mm -hmm. But now then we were meeting, I'm telling you, I felt, I don't know what I felt, I felt disgust. Oh. And then I just told this person, just to a channel, and then I just started crying. And I don't just out just of nowhere. Just out of the blue. Hey, those painful prayers worked, my friend. I, Me, I didn't know if they were working. <laughs> hey, what? I just, and then... And you walked away? Yes. And I went... Evil too, my Kaisha. I went home crying. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't cry easily. Mm -hmm. But I just felt disgusting as a My life is finished. Mm -hmm. But now I think, you know, the way the prodigal son says, he came to, to his, senses. his senses. Yes. I think I came to you my came senses. To your senses. So then Nikinga Matatu, I was coming I was now going home. The person who was sitting I'll never forget who was sitting next to me mm -hmm. was a man. I think I even hated men. I can you Lisa? Are you okay? I just look, I think really but you see this eyes and mm. just my your own business. Yes. And then I was crying. I think I should, oh, I, yeah. I, and then that was it. After that, he can take over. Yes. So for me, it was one Sunday to litoka church to kama uh -huh. Of course, me nika kam. Uh, actually, no. Nili kamu mbeleake. Mm -hmm. uh, it was around seven p.m. Mm -hmm. There, uh, and her she came. She came late, around seven thirty there about. But now she was in the in the bedroom. She mm -hmm. went to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And now we were eating supper with our children. So I mm. went to ask her, hey, so you come and eat supper with us. Mm. And she told me, you and your friends, you are spreading terrible things in church. You know, I'm going to go and what are you come and okay, okay, okay. So uh, we are sorry. Mm. So I used to apologize every time. Killer mm. Sadi, mm. sorry, 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 sorry. Mm. I take blame. Oh, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, mm. we shall make this. So as uh, she refused, she, I do not want to eat this my supper with you. Mm -hmm. eh, okay. So as we, I went, uh, we, we ate. I said, how already she was asleep. I thought she was asleep. As I said, we were in bed, we were At some point, I think at, at around 12, um, she started again. Now, do you know you? The only thing that is keeping us together is this marriage certificate. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, because was I was angry mm -hmm. then. Now him, okay, he he was now emotionally attached to this my friend, mm -hmm. our friend. Yeah, only mm. you're seeing mm. he and then the last party they were serving together. Mm -hmm. So you look in Anikula Rojo, he's not seeing that there's a problem. Which you're I getting. find interesting. Yes, you're, you're seeing. Which I which I find interesting. Yes. That you're seeing that, but eh, you see, yet even you. Um, Missing a makosa. Yeah, you kona makosa. Yeah, no kona makosa. Na haoni. Na haoni. So for me, I it was like now trying to in it to push the blame mm -hmm. to, him, to him, so that I cover my own yes. blame. So that night, hey, if you know Pastor Gilbert, you yes. know Pastor Gilbert. He's not uh, si wakuteta. Ah ah, Pastor Gilbert ni jamani si pole. He's always smiling yes. and laughing. Hey. Yes. <laughs> That night, yes, I almost fainted. You saw another version. <gasps> My goodness! You know, she told me yeah. at the only thing that is keeping us together is this, is this marriage certificate. Actually, So she, she woke up. Uh. She went where we had kept our ma our certificates. Uh. She perused and picked the marriage certificate. Uh. Then something just flipped inside me. Yes. When did you No, I told her. Uh. Because I'm tired. So paswa. <laughs> Even me. Uh, nimechoka. Aka paswa. Paswa. No. I think she came to her senses I, I at that time. Yes. Realized higher. Uh, by the way, when I told her paswa, mm. a very heavy weight mm. lifted from my heart. Mm. And I slept for the first time the entire mm. night. And then so what happens the next day? The next and day. He said he <laughs> will leave. And I told her I will leave. Uh, First I didn't tell her I kept quiet. Uh -huh. I just told her Paswa. So uh -huh. the next day to come, Kakawaida, we uh -huh. prepared. 
uh, because where where her workplace was yeah. and where my workplace were at, at church where I used to go mm -hmm. it was close mm -hmm. so ali nifuata mbaka church mm -hmm. akiniambia kwa nini leo ndo unasema ni pasuwe hizo siku zingine mm. you have never cared about it as in those other days you you will beg me yes. you will say sorry now i told her i am tired mm. I am very tired. Mm. Uh, now I didn't reveal, yes. Bado. I didn't tell her that Sasa, I know what you have been doing. Mm. No, I kept quiet still. But now I told her I am tired. Pasua. And, uh, and all those threats you have been telling me, mm. you leave me. Leave. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you realize something has shifted, eh? Yeah, but <laughs> the pride in me, uh -huh. the pride, yes. keyword pride. Yes. I mean, I can't surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Anikaa kwa my office. Mimi nilimwacha kwa office nikaenda pastoral meeting. Mm. Nikatoka pastoral meeting mara round 12 na mpata bado kwa office na mbaya. Hakuenda job. Hakuenda Haku, no. Haku job. I went in the morning but I left. It was eh. very cool. it was a walking distance. Okay. okay. So I told her, "Oi, unafanya nini hapa?" Anambia, oh, "Why? Why are you like this?" I was surprised even to see her begging. Yeah. I have never seen her beg me. Yes. So it was my first time to see her begging. Eh. Nilishangaa kambe oh hii mambo yako mimi sitaki pa so you say you want to leave yes you say there are better people go to those better ones leave me alone ili flip hiyo kitu na, na i'm telling you eh uh. sasa niko hapa then after some mimi nikaenda pastoral meeting dikaka huko hata tulimaliza meeting mimi nikaka to boardroom paka late in the afternoon so when i came back to my office she's not there yeah so niko na this thing uh now uh, me i'm tired and 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 i can't take it anymore mm -hmm. so i went to a senior pastor mm -hmm. before you hear from people yes i want to tell you now. myself yes so i told him mm. come on narrate the entire story mm. he was surprised he he did not know what to do mm -hmm. as the father as he is and i i took my son mm -hmm. Nikamwambia all those things he alishangatu. He has looked at me. Mm. He said I, I am very sorry. I said it's okay pastor but I wanted to tell you first mm. so that you don't hear it from people. From people. No. Mm. It is me. Then I can remember then. Thank you for telling me but mm. I, I'm requesting for another meeting. Now mm. this time come with your wife mm -hmm. and also I'll tell my wife to come around mm. to be in that meeting mm. so to kwa sisi wote. Sawa sawa I got some mimi sina shida will call. So I went I think nilikwambia manipasi alikwambia. No but that time he had changed. Yeah. As I say mm -hmm. Pastor Gilbert Ali he was cold. He was very cold. Mm -hmm. So that's when now eh hey, niko na hapa nikubaya. Mm -hmm. Yeah so it became very bad. Okay. Extreme. And then now he will stay in charge now for now, up to Now he made it worse. Yeah. So made it was home ni kulala tu kushinda hey, church hey. asa natoka church 10 na nakaa tu church mm. see you kona meetings ama sina meeting sina mtu niko it's just your safe space i just sit there mm. so hmm, because I, i i'm looking i'm trying to balance this conversation with our clock so that we don't leave people hanging oh, okay. at, at what point did you confront her and tell her i know what's been going on did uh, you ever do that yes yes uh -huh. i think a week um, near week later mama yeah i Something think like that. A week later he said he would leave. Mm -hmm. Actually he left. So, oh he left. Yes, yeah. so he came home. Ulienda home uka park. No, si ku park kama wako. Nilingoja. And the children were in. First nilienda nikatafuta nyumba tu pole pole. Hizo ku come home late. Eh. Nili decide nenda kutafuta nyumba na nitafuta kwa ghetto. Pali najua wazi kuja kwa ghetto huko ndani. So I got a house. Eh. Uh -huh. Anikalipia nyumba. Anao Uh, he came he left when i came from work i found he had taken some of his no not some everything so nikaingia kwa nyumba nikajuliza ewo it has happened it has happened now the thing that i feared the most has uh, come upon me i was me. the one who was saying i was going but now he's the one he who beat left. you to it <laughs> yes i left so he left i thought it was i am telling you he didn't even leave a note at a note no. eh hey. Not really hey, me. Eh, Pastor Apart. Gilbert became another thing. He became. I let go. Hey. 
nilishikilia nilipigania wow. ikitu the lamb yeah. became the lion sasa imefika <laughs> <laughs> sasa imefika pali nimeshindwa nikilili uachilia kawachilia yes so kaenda, one, kaenda, kama mbaya mbaya uh, one no. evening i just called her nili come home mm. sasa nimehamisha vitu by the way mm-hmm. ni kama bebu kuja i went to the room and now i narrated everything, everything. imagine hata text messages mm. places zote wameenda nilikuwa nazikumbuka ni kama like you are reading this and then he keeps things he keeps things eh ah. so ni wale wakweka ndani yeah, inachemka tu uko ndani inachemka so ilifika yeah. so ilikuwa so, yeah, yeah, rap yeah. so ali break down yeah. akalia akinambia i'm sorry asemi mwambia tu hiyo ni yako mm-hmm. she wanted to go yeah. see that's the life you want go oh yeah i bless you go Aya. to that life mimi waachana na mimi and i left and i left now for three, four years at the atia yes so these three, four years you guys are not communicating i'm telling now that how she's looking for me but me i don't oh she came looking for you no 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 <laughs> looking through as in now i'm like what is her? you see now that's when you see i what have i done mm-hmm. now that is when uh, it became extremely difficult and that's now where we saw jesus both of us yeah. As in, oh. maybe we we had seen Jesus, but this time we saw with capital S A W. I'm <laughs> telling you, with capital J E S U S. Yes. Amen. During that separation, that it was hard. I ha- me for me, I hated myself. Mm-hmm. I hated everything about me. And then I like one of the things that really crushed me was because. I felt I, in, inside me I just felt disgusted. Mm-hmm. So I stopped wanting to look beautiful. Oh, you stopped taking care of yourself. Yes. So the funny thing one of my friends to lipita na naye and then he came to Jackie on he that lady akaniangalia akaniambia aya kumbe ilikuwa wewe she could not recognize wow. me. Wow. So that it was it was hard. It was extremely hard. You know usually <laughs> Sisi ni watu wa kanisa we know we know the things that happen in churches to story come out tunapataga momentum sana huko church so and so mesquia so and so mesquia did that happen to you guys and how do you deal with that yes it it happened sasa there was me me siku ah what i what i didn't say is that after meeting yetu na with her and the pastors nili resign niliambia pastor yeah mimi nataka ku handle drama privately yeah I do not want to bring shame to the church. Yeah. Considering church to pale came go through such a thing mm-hmm. another past. Yes. Sasa I did not want to kuile tata na church. Mhm. Sasa mimi ka resign officially. Nikambia mm-hmm. yes. pasi mimi na I'm resigning. They tried telling me no ni take to sabbatical ni kasma mimi mistake. I want to handle it privately. So mimi ka walk away. Ni ka walk away. Sasa for her yeah. so nili walk away from church completely from church, church completely. Completely. so completely. you've walked away from from home you've walked away, away from, from church, church. So from so church. Me, I'm going still church. going the, the, the same church the yeah bado anaenda it, it was so hard because now that's when utona sides now let me retaliate now this same friend now he's leaning to he, he to huh? what kizungu yapata this same friend yes. now wako hivi mm unaona hivi after after amesia yes now they are very wamekuwa sasa very close sasa yeye ndo anaongea naye mimi said ingine now i'm trying now to bring back my marriage trying yeah. to tell my friend so ni said tu na mm. asi please please i'm telling you it was hard kanisa mm. kanisa oh, mungu atusamehe eh ukweli yeah. so i had only two two ladies while well, walikuwa come church because now the story was already out yeah. everyone knew yeah hata watu kwa supermarket walikuwa na kuangalia hivi unasa you just feel yeah. i don't know you're worthless that's the key mm. one getting people you see like being again kwa kanisa at your pastor's wife na then watu akuna i had only like two you know three three friends mm-hmm. wala walikuwa naambia kuje church that was Jackie Nancy na Rita walikuwa naniambia and like for me i thought that the husbands would usiongele show mama mhm hello but takuambukiza eh acha tashikisha the gene no so this this time you this time you separate Yes. yes. Did, did you ever think even me what a woman can do a man can do did you ever think of getting into another relationship was that temptation ever there uh, getting to another one apana yeah. but there's a time i wanted i felt like i wanted to revenge uh-huh. 
uh, kabla tuachane oh. eh, kabla nao i walked away from home that that our friend yes. that we alikuwa me distance yes so there was uh, we used to be doing deco together with her uh -huh. the church na the event uh -huh. so there was one evening tulikuwa tunatoka from an event tumemaliza kufanya deco ilikuwa late at night at uh -huh. around 1am uh -huh. so tuna drop the, 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 the remaining deco tulikuwa nao church then to yeah. to the home we separate from my home now in my heart me i knew because there was no lady karibu na mimi yeah. it was only her yeah so in my heart i had already decided me i want to see with this lady you <laughs> but now <laughs> but sasa mimi sijamwambia so real sijamwambia but you have made up your mind mimi nilikuwa nisha make up my mind leo ile dhambi mimi nataka kaende kaende i want to see with this lady but now i do not know how i'm going to do it because sije <laughs> bring sexual conversation <laughs> and i love your attachment ije kwa physical yes sasa kwa tikio karakati nafikiri hii maneno that lady akasema by the way there is something i want to tell you mm. yeah, she, did, she didn't used to call me pastor kwa kinidwa tu kama gili, gili. Yeah. so gili there is something i want to tell you like, hey, what is it <laughs> hey, of all the men that i have worked with yes I want to say you are a different man. Mm. Asta why? Eh eh. Karambia, haujani grab bust. Eh eh. Haujani grab. Eh eh. Anyway, haujani tumia vitu sexually yes. suggestive. Haujai try kukuwa sexual with me. Ai. Eh hey, Mungu alikuwa kwa mtu wangu. And now in my heart. Mimi <laughs> mimi sitaki hiyo maneno ananiambia. Because leo uko na mpango. Sasa unaniambia nini? Si my heart wanted to sin. Oh my goodness. So that I also peer if in case. So that she can feel what you felt. Ah. Yeah. And she is telling me that some nashango bude. So I couldn't tell and ikona tio plan me 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 aribiwa. The Lord saved him. Yes, the Lord saved him. The Lord saved him. So, because we have like 9 minutes. <laughs> so, what brought you back and also how do you rebuild trust? They usually say It's easier for a woman mm. to forgive a man who yes. strayed yes. than for a man to forgive a woman who strayed. Yeah. So what brought you back and how did you guys build this trust again? Because from the way you, both of you are sharing this story, I can tell healing already happened. Yes. Oh, yeah. The way you're yes. picking from one another, the way you're looking at one another, I can tell this relationship is on a whole new level. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. So need yes. for Rudy. Um I I started contemplating divorce mm -hmm. but any time I think about divorce ni kwa ni feel a very pain kwa heart mpaka mm -hmm. inakuwa physical eh mm mpaka -hmm. nawacha nawacha kufikira about divorce mm -hmm. so any time I think about what she had done I think last year vibana ataka divorce divorce but now um one day ni think I, I didn't know kumbe it was God trying to speak to me kuniambia mambo ya divorce hapana yeah ndio later nika come kwanda sand ai kumbe it is God speaking to me and telling me divorce no yes it is not his will mm. for me to divorce to divorce mama yes it was Praise not. the lord yeah. <laughs> it was not and me i wanted to because at a village he walk away from from her mm -hmm. and from church yetu ya home nilienda kujificha kwa church ingine ni kisavu mm -hmm. and that church did not know about this drama yeah nilikuwa ni kisavu kwa hiyo church nilisavu kwa for 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 six years hata by the wow. time niliana bado hawajui about your drama yeah. how is your wife ah she's fine oh. well, because they knew about my wife yeah. ilikuwa kama my, my wife iko tu sawa <laughs> so okay. nilikuwa na serve kwa hiyo church nobody knew about that drama mm -hmm. because i knew mimi napenda god mm -hmm. but god started speaking to my heart eh mm -hmm. This kumoja nikitoka nilikuwa nikifundisha PPI mm -hmm. and I was teaching Rusinga school. Mm -hmm. So when I was done with the PPI nikirudi back home nikienda kupanda KBS nikapata amenitumia very lengthy WhatsApp text mm -hmm. yes. saying how Fungua sorry roho. she is how yeah. and for the first time my heart saw the, the lady that I married. Hallelujah. Wow. And after that, I got back to kufikira divorce then that the pain came yes. come your god okay I surrender I surrender yeah because I think I love this lady yes because I searched my heart that night mm -hmm. I saw I love my wife mm -hmm. Now, the steps of going back started okay for me 
So did you reach out to her? Yes, yeah, she reached, he, reached. he wrote a message saying, yeah. I will not divorce. Yes. Yes. I just confused. Yeah. It that was the time, time of COVID. Yes. Yeah. I was in town. I called my friend. I have to come and see you. That lady accepted me in her house. Yes. Time of COVID. She had a child. Remember, this is what Gilia Meandika. He comes, what does he know? Yeah. Yes. Because every time I used to write him, he has never responded. responded. Mm. That was the first time. I almost fainted. What is this? Mm. So that's when he elaborated. Okay. And then that's now, he said, I just give him time so mm -hmm. that he can heal his heart uh, mm -hmm. yeah. completely. Okay. Amen. Okay. Yes. So, at, so at the time you guys now come back together, yes. did you talk about what you've been through? How, how do you find healing and closure so that now we can move on? Did you guys see a counselor? How did you navigate through that? Um, uh, did you see a counselor? No, we no. didn't see a counselor, I think I was, but we enrolled for a pre No, yes, class. Oh, one of the okay. steps. Eh, but mm. I think ours was, it's like, during the separation, Jesus worked on us. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Every person. Mm. Kila mtu kivyake. Kila mtu yeah. mm -hmm. God showed me where I was going wrong, mm -hmm. as a wife, as mm. a lady, is also mm -hmm. through scripture. Now that's when I'm telling you we saw Jesus for each uh -huh. one. So yeah. that God is like, he cleansed us, he made us new, yes. ready for this marriage. Uh -huh. So that now when he came back, I saw him as a different, now mm. as a husband, mm. as, a, as a pastor, not mm -hmm. as a father. Yeah. So that's how now we navigated. And then we spoke about everything that happened. Yes. Then to Kekamika Kati, like now for us, mm -hmm. our phones, eh? Our phones don't have passwords, except mm. say because of what I'm doing. But yeah. he knows the password. But your password you may collect a month ago. Okay. But um, our phones, everywhere, like that time, everywhere I used to go, come and call us, and I used to go, as in you mm. see. So I had also to work hard. So you're not giving room for suspicion. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, yes, so yes, it yes. you nowadays, he's a very good person. Yeah. Your heart has healed. Yes. It has healed completely. Yes. I know. Uh, and then now okay. she, she, she said about now um, what she was through. I depend on your life. Then. Yeah. She really hated that kind of life. Mm -hmm. and she was wondering even what was I thinking mm -hmm. doing that. Mm -hmm. Uh, even me, I was, I, what was I thinking? Staying in church the whole time mm. and not being with you. Mm. And I was missing all this. You know, so what, I to know, you know what I love about your story? And I love what you shared that when you are separate, Jesus dealt with each of you separately. Yes. Yeah. Because each of you sees their faults. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the most important thing. It's no longer a blame game. No. Everybody. It's, 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 it's not focusing on you cheated yeah. and it's not focusing on, but you are never there. Yeah. Because some couples stay in that zone and it doesn't help their relationship. No, no. The fact that each one accepted their mistake yeah. and each one was willing to forgive and move on. Yeah. Uh, you guys have an amazing story. I don't know whether you know how powerful this story is. Uh, we because like I said <laughs> earlier, people usually say it's easier for the woman to tolerate uh. and to forgive a man who cheated, but uh. vice versa. It's yeah, very it was, rare. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, somebody said in the comments, you guys need a seminar. Says, this is uh, a nail-biting story. Thank <laughs> you to this couple <laughs> for the willingness to come and be so vulnerable and having the courage to fight for their marriage through thick and thin. I will share this with many others once it's on YouTube. <laughs> These ones need a seminar. Thanks. Uh, somebody else had sent somebody something. Uh, okay, in Irefu. But I see this testimony is on another level. Very true. Wow, what a testimony. Uh, they are, uh, given that forgiveness is not principality for the good of the forgiven, but rather, more importantly, for the good of the one forgiving, I would forgive. Or oh, this is the question I was asking earlier. This one says, there's no doubt uh, a strong couple even being able to narrate it. I thank Jesus that all wounds have a cure in him. Wonderful. But I'm grateful that you guys were able to come uh, because me, I know your story. <laughs> 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 the rumors had gotten to me. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I was thinking like, I can imagine, yeah. You know, 
but then mean shut down completely i was talking to no one apart from that our friend in between yes africa fika point pia ni kamtoa kamtoa so nikabaki peke yangu so how long since the two of you came back together when did you come back together 2021 2021 eh, january of 2021 sasa nika rudi officially yes together. we came i came back home wow yes did it feel like you were starting did it feel like you, you're starting a new marriage feeling like such uh, yes because it was difficult mm. to again three years of being separated yeah. is not yeah. easy now so re still again. To, and then me i was used to having my own life mm. schedule with the children mm. so again you're coming back so it mm. was like god was bringing us afresh yeah. building now a new foundation mm -hmm. so we had to go for that okay uh, premarital counseling okay yeah. wow now you're happy yes so yes. uh, extremely hey. happy yeah. <laughs> Imagine I have to shut it down my time is up. Oh, I wish okay. you had another 20 minutes. But you guys are just amazing. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having yes. us. Thank you for coming. Where? Nafunga clinic. Ao ayao ilikuwa ilikuwa they needed resuscitation. Where yako marriage yako iko tuna headache and you are throwing tantrums here saying you want to leave. This one's their marriage was like Lazarus. Three years in the in the tomb. And Jesus came and revived it and brought it back to life. Amen. You see, you saw how they are looking at each other. It's like they're still dating. It is possible. I'm telling you, when Jesus is in the midst of it all, Amen. it doesn't matter how dead it is. Amen. It yes. is possible. Yes. Aya, what's any funga clinic? Until next week, do have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content.